PA roadie here. That's the uh, Prime Minister's motorcade going through. They're uh, going to meet me at my hotel suite momentarily. But I wanted to give a little talk to you, the audience back home, tell you where I am. I'm in Copenhagen, Denmark. That's right, and have a little, little bit of trivia and history for you concerning Denmark. I'd like to tell you how it was named. You see, there was this man named Mark about 200 years ago. He was wandering around and he happened to come across a lion's den. But he didn't see it. He's just going to wander right into it because he was busy singing a tune and daydreaming and all that. So his friend yelled out to him, hey, watch out for that lion's den, Mark. Well, poor old Mark did not survive. The lions got him. They ate him. They were brutal. They were hungry and they ripped him apart. So in honor of dear old Mark from long ago who stumbled into that lion's den, they named the, the country Denmark. It's a Scandinavian nation in Northern Europe, and it, it has a population of about nine million people. And I'm here in Copenhagen, the capital and the largest city. As a matter of fact, it's the biggest city in all of Scandinavia. That's right, Copenhagen. Now let me tell you something about Copenhagen. It's an amazing city, it's beautiful. Lots of gorgeous historical buildings, a lot of pedestrian walkways. Uh, Copenhagen is famous for its chewing tobacco. It's real good because you see, Denmark as a nation is very open, just like Holland is. As you know, Amsterdam down there in Holland has all kinds of liberal laws dealing with uh, legal marijuana and prostitution and all those things. Euthanasia, all kinds of stuff. So uh, Denmark is liberal like that. So they allow marijuana to be put into their chewing tobacco here in Copenhagen. That's right, it's 50% marijuana, so when you, when you smoke it, you feel real good. And it loosens you up and you can pick up on the babes. And they like the fact you're all loose and friendly with them. They love that. You chew that American chewing tobacco and it just looks ugly. You spit and you, you have stains all over your teeth and you don't feel loosened up because there's no marijuana in it. So obviously the Copenhagen uh, chewing tobacco is the most popular and I can sure see why. So that's just a little more information for you about the main product made here in Copenhagen and why it's so popular. I'll see you in a little while. I got a lot of walking around to do. Got to get back to the Prime Minister. I think I hear the sirens coming. They're coming to get me because I'm late for the meeting. They don't like that. All right, talk to you later. Now my favorite movie of all time is Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the 1978 version with Donald Sutherland, Jeff Goldblum, and Leonard Nimoy. It's because I want all of my sweatshop workers to be pod people. They won't have any emotions, they won't protest, they won't have any hope for the future. They'll be drones. That's who I want for all of my factories, all over the world. You know something I love? I love hot, tight-looking female buns. Right behind me is the second biggest dome in all of Northern Europe, right back there. It's pretty impressive. Looks as fantastic as St. Paul's or St. Peter's. But here we are in Copenhagen, not in Rome or London. So don't get it confused. This is Copenhagen, with the second biggest dome church in Northern Europe. It's the marble church, but it's not even made of marble. That's the kick. That's like stuff I do, saying I got a gold palace, but it's not gold. I spend my money on other things. I mean, you know, the gold palace where I have official dinners. I'm not going to take a chance on those officials coming to my house and ruining things, so my gold is all in private. Well, it's like this marble church. They kept all the marble for themselves. Not for the church people. And here is the Little Mermaid. This is one of the symbols of the city. And yet another terrifying fountain. Those fish are enough to give any child nightmares. On the outskirts of Copenhagen, you'll find two of the most famous castles in Denmark. Now this is the more plain looking one, so it's where the president ends up staying. He likes to get out of town and have affairs with mistresses in that location. Then I'm staying in the fancier one. This is the interior of the more ornate castle. And of course, I will be conducting a lot of business meetings and having a lot of affairs right here. 
This is my palatial estate here in Denmark. I just use it for when I come here one week of the year, but it's worth it that one week to have the ultimate luxury of this palace. Don't you think? Here's another lovely angle showing off my castle, the best in all of the land. And because I know you, the viewers, like to see me doing death-defying stunts, that is me. Risking my life just for you, John Q and Susie Q Public, watching from home on YouTube. I didn't even have a safety net. I risk everything just for the show. We are in Tivoli Gardens, one of the most famous amusement parks in the world. Right in downtown Copenhagen. And this is an alien being. Now, in the United States, we could have aliens doing sex acts on stage, but of course our government refuses to acknowledge aliens. But here in Copenhagen, it's all out in the open. So this particular alien is having sex with itself. That's the climax right there. The audience loves the climax. And these are some other angles here in Tivoli Gardens, which is over a hundred years old. And this particular device is used to test the stamina of my new young recruits for my sweatshops. I'm seeing if they need to be hobbled or not. Now, if they don't have the stamina to work in my sweatshops, they'll just fall into the pit of hungry crocodiles beneath them. This is a statue dedicated to the King of Denmark. He's a, uh, he's kind of like the Bill Clinton of Denmark. He gets around, he has lots of, lots of secret affairs going on, and, and these are all the illegitimate children of those affairs. This statue is dedicated to him and all those illegitimate kids just clawing at his ankles, wanting money, wanting food, but he ignores them. But I'm here to save the little kids. I'm gonna ship them on over. I'm gonna ship them on over to my manufacturing plants in Mexico that I moved down there, and they're gonna be my new workers. They're a little young, but you know you can get away with that in Mexico. And uh, and uh, they they played musical instruments to entertain themselves. But I'm taking those instruments away when they enter the factory work. They don't have time to play a trumpet or something. They need to work for me. So I'll be taking them down to Mexico, and it'll be a happy ending for me. And at least they won't be starving anymore, so it's better than being here being ignored by their dad, the King of Denmark. <laughs>